Welcome to Fate Sunday Adventure. I am Kasakari, your bearer of positivity and the host for today's adventure. Today, Fate has turned us to the tale of a young girl named Nuna and her Arctic Fox. More specifically, the downloadable content adventure for Never Alone, Fox Tales. Let's get into it. Every now and again I download a random game from PlayStation Plus and play it through. Sounds a little bit familiar, something you might be watching right now, huh? It's kind of the same thing. Anyhow, a few years back, the game for me was never alone. It's rare that I'm completely taken by, back by a game, but let me tell you, this game was a vibe in the game. Kayo, kalo gat, aglana wingora eksibay yun ni kimotok. The amount of care and love that went in developing the story is phenomenal. I was hooked to the idea of this game within a few minutes and I knew I was not going to put it down. The game itself is essentially a series of puzzles to solve weaved together by an amazing story told through the words of about 40 Alaskan natives after reviewing hundreds of native stories. You play as Nuna with the ability to also switch to and play as the fox which adds to the possibility of solving the puzzles. You embark on your journey in your boat, and in the story you travel through danger and peril in order to find and save the most friend you meet. Now, for all of you achievement hounds, I have some great news for you. If you play the game and listen for owls and find them, you have absolutely zero chance of not getting 100% in this game. The only achievement aside from completing the three levels is to get all the cultural insights. So, what's a cultural insight, you say? Well, I'm glad you asked. Cultural insights are bonus interview footage with Alaskan elders and their families that discuss various aspects of the story, the culture of the people, and a glimpse into their way of life. You get them from owls within the levels and at the end of some levels. When I didn't think I could like a game more, I saw the first one of these and was wrong. I am a sucker when it comes to story and adventure, and when you give me both, well, we love you a long time. I want you to experience this for yourself through your own eyes. But here is a snippet of one of those insights, and if this doesn't pique your curiosity, I'm honestly not sure what will. I wasn't raised here, but my mom talked about how it'd be so dark. Yeah, it was dark in the wintertime. Uh, in, in December 21st, we see the sun for about three hours. Um, the rest is dark, so the days start to get longer right after that, shortly after that. My mom, in her story, she says the real people come out. Everyone comes alive just because they've been inside so long. I'm always happy to come to Springs there because the caribou are migrating north. Uh, bears are coming out of hibernation. Uh, rabbits and stuff, they're all, all over the place. And they're not hiding under the snow anymore. You know, like the elders used to tell me, as um, soon as they saw those snow buntings, the small birds, the new season would start for gathering food. They knew they'd be happy because the fresh food is starting to come around. We'd be getting geese eggs or seagull eggs or any kind of duck eggs. We'd go camping in the early spring, go, go out with uh, uh, dog teams when I was a kid to a spring camp. 
And it was anywhere that my folks thought that we can get the most food. Uh, right here in the peninsula, we'd walk back from our camp and, and hunt muskrats, and my mom would dry the skins. And so it's a time of just all the gathering activities, all the busyness. It's when the life really springs up again. I think the only drawback I experienced at all is the control of the characters can be a little bit latent at times, but it didn't impact my ability to play the game or cause me any difficulties. Just notice it, and if I had to make a one complaint about the game, I guess that's all I really got. The story was great, this game is fun, and it made for an amazing adventure. That, to me, is the trifecta. I see they are making a sequel, and you can be damn sure I'm going to have to be playing that game too. We are at the point in the journey where this adventure has reached its end, but as fate would have it, the wheel must spin once again and bring us the name of our next adventure. As we enjoy more of this amazing game, let fate's wheel tell us where our next adventure is taking us. Ah, so it was Grand Theft Auto 5, but I have one more plot twist for you before we go. Next week, we start October. October is spooky season. So, Grand Theft Auto 5 is going to have to wait until November. What are we playing next week? Tune in and you'll see which spooky game it is. Now look, kisu hutik, paket kek kisip magan awing ngorok.
Ilan na reik iglek senyak tuk argot mon no tam kunga ni. Ismaluk senyak hoting. Pangarut do na kemon tikit mata inyo eksomon. Kibiromon kung mon.
That's my dad. Picture of my dad. Appa Willie, my, my grandfather Willie, he was a respected hunter. So he was the provider for the large family. My father embodied all the Inupiaq values. He used them all as much as he can every day. And he loved to talk to people. He shared a lot of stuff that he got from out, whether it be out in the ocean or in land. He shared with people. We all loved him because he treated us with respect, all of us kids. Uh, when we followed him, when I started to follow him with John to go hunt out in the ocean out here, he would talk to us while we're hunting and point things out to us. You know, how to expect things, how to do things out in the country, or... He uh, teach us how to set traps, where to put the traps, how to bait them. My dad was born and raised in Selwick. He grew up in springtime and summertime using a kayak. And they can go on days on a kayak. So he taught us all that about hunting seals, bearded seals, and then uh, hunting beluga also. You know, he he showed us how. I never forget my dad. Every time he said something, I honor what he say. I remember he'd wake me up after early in the morning, five o'clock, and it's still dark. He'd kiss me in his cheek, wake me up. I remember he said, bye, John, you behave now. I'll never forget that. So one day he did that. He said, if anything happened to me, I want you to take care of mom, like I did. But I, I see the affection there and the bond he had with me. He taught me.
kahuting unip ka no tang mit koti isuk kang nik narbas lorok temanin nexok abingak pak in nexok narbame supaya kasit kikit chok narramon negip lugu I hope you enjoyed today's adventure, and I'll leave you with a little bit extra before we head off into the sunset. Uh, be inspired, be inspiring, grow louder, and if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing, because we're going to try to do this every week. Have a great day, everyone, and keep adventuring. Ilan nagik ilis maruk ang uyang itparung awing ngakpak no tang mid iksisenyang nagat. Thank you.